Hi there, students. A shoehorn, or to shoehorn as a verb, shoehorning as um, an activity. Okay, a shoehorn is like a curved piece of metal or plastic, or in the old days, it was made of a piece of horn, which you use to help you put your shoes on. Yeah, it, you hold it on the back of your shoe and you put as you put your foot in it. It helps you slide your foot into the back of the shoe, and that is a shoehorn. But then we can use this this verb to shoehorn to fit something very tightly in a place, often between two different things. So um, there was a tiny little house shoehorned between two skyscrapers fit in fitted in between the two or maybe um yes the, this classic thing of the japanese underground people trying to shoehorn the passengers into the underground carriages so that they uh, fit more easily okay so to shoehorn, to fit something or, or someone tight into a tight spot. Um, for example, most restaurants um, are fairly small and they try to shoehorn as many tables or as many clients as they possibly can into the available space okay so it's like you're squashing something in if if you've got a shoe that doesn't fit you very well then a shoehorn is going to be the easiest way to get, uh, get it to fit and from that to shoehorn to squeeze in to squeeze into what may be um a, a insufficient space to make something fit where it's not it, it's um difficult to fit them so the um yeah the secretary ma managed to shoehorn me into her boss's busy schedule to squeeze into, to make fit, to force into a limited space, to accommodate, to make something fit, or change to uh, to to make some make something fit within a space. Okay, so shoehorning, um, using a shoehorn to me to make something fit. Um, okay, so something that pushes you you into a space to force something into a tight space to squeeze to exert great effort into getting it have you, let's see if you're if you've ever moved house um then you've got to move all your stuff and you've probably got to shoehorn um, the all of the things into the back of your car. So I shoehorned all of my luggage into the tiny boot of the car. Um, I had to shoehorn the last pieces of furniture into the, uh, into the van. Okay, so to shoehorn, to... Um, make something fit to push it into place to exert greater effort to include something to ma make it fit in and this is the idea of to shoehorn to push into a space to force into adequate inadequate space um, the night the, the uh, nightclub was absolutely packed and they had shoehorned as many people as they could into the air into the area available um i tried to shoehorn as much information as i could into a cv that was only one page to squeeze in to shoehorn something into somewhere else, um, to ma to make to make it fit, yeah, to squeeze into, to do everything you can to um, uh, get it into this tight place. Um, I think in the city, you or in cities, if you want to park your car, you're going to have to shoehorn your car into a tiny, tiny little space. And th this is the idea of to shoehorn. Um, 
so, formality to shoehorn. I think probably 4.5, it, let's see, as a verb 4.5 to make something fit. A shoehorn, the object itself, 5 in formality, use absolutely anywhere. And, okay, the, the origin, it comes from a shoe made of horn. Yeah, the horn, horns of an animal, and m many of them were made of horn, or certainly in the past. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. I've shoehorned a lot of explanation there into five minutes.